You know, sometimes USPS, or just the mail in general, holds your package, and you can't help but be like, why? Why does customs need to take an extra look at a model train? Then other times you're kind of like, yeah, it, it makes a little bit of sense, doesn't it? So ladies and gentlemen, uh, what you're seeing here is a pretty large pack of HO or 00 scale trees. I'm not sure what exactly the branding on these are. It's a, uh, you know, I want to say maybe Woodland Scenics, but I'm not 100% sure. These came from an eBay listing and uh, yeah, it's just a bunch of different colored trees. I'm going to guesstimate anywhere from 10 to 15, and it looks like we have three different types of clump foliage. We have a lighter green, a sort of darker green, and a very dark green. So yeah, and several stumps, which you could add, or if you ever find trees like this, you can add those to the bottom. I'll show you once we actually have this thing open. That's probably not the plan for uh, me, though, or what I plan to use these for. I'll probably just put little holes into the foam on the mountain. Boom. Actually, real quick, let's go ahead and take a look at these just for just for doing it. All right, let's see. All right, so there's your first tree. As you can see here, these sometimes come pretty flattened out. This is uh, not typically what a, a normal tree looks like, at least if you're in the real world, maybe in a Mario Brothers level. But essentially, the only thing you really have to do to fix this is take these branches here and just kind of spread them out a little bit. Just there we go. A normal tree or a real tree doesn't have branches that go all one way. And you're just going to take this, bend them all a little bit, and boom. That quickly, this thing is poofed out that much more. And it looks a lot more realistic, too. And the little stump area here just came right off the side. Uh, the way you would put this down if you didn't want to put it directly into landscape is just like so. It's a little bit of a tight fit there. There we go. Put it in like that, and... Well, it doesn't stand very well. Yeah, for that reason alone, you can probably see why I'm not gonna use the stands. But you know what, really quick, since we can, let's figure out exactly how many trees are in this pack. So let's do some counting. All right, so by my count, there are 14 trees. I was off by one. Believe it or not, you know, that is a lot of trees and I'm not trying to sound like uh, it's not or like I'm ungrateful or something like that. But you'll see when we put these on the layout, this is really not a lot if you're trying to make a very forested area or uh, really work too well to fill up a lot of vegetation. At least uh, you'll need a lot of them if you're just using trees. But with that being said, I do think we'll be able to get quite a bit of the mountain filled up with these things. And I just may put a few, you know, elsewhere on the layout to try and spread them out because the plan is to hopefully get a couple more of these packs and just as I go make the layout more and more forested in some areas. I still need to get the coal, the ballast. There's a lot to do over there, but you know what? Some vegetation could never hurt. And now I have to make all these trees look good like I did the first time. I guess it's time for another time lapse. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and with that, we have our trees ready. So I think the only thing left to do, at least with these things, is, well, if I quit dropping them, get them all over to the layout, and uh, we'll start the placement there. I'll also do a little bit of an update, show you guys the uh, small things that have changed. Yeah, with any luck, it won't be anything too serious. Um, to do something like this, again, you really don't need much. You just need your trees. I prefer a little bit of glue. Let me grab that real quick. Really, any glue can do it, say if you got scenic cement like this, or model glue, even just normal Elmer's white glue. Anything can uh, hold these things in place, and that's really all you need. You just need an agent to do that, and maybe a screwdriver, or uh, just a smaller pointy object, again, like a screwdriver or anything like that to uh, make that hole. So yeah, let's go and uh, do that. All right, so currently the plan, like I said, is to focus more on this mountain area, try to get a uh, as much of that filled in with as many trees as I can, but I'm also considering maybe going to these smaller tree areas or just around the layout, putting a couple in random spots just to fill this all in, because you've probably seen these really small plants here, little sunflowers, just small stuff that I found and added to the layout. Yeah, I know, that should be the coal and the ballast and the stuff that I'm waiting for, but That'll come soon, soon, soon. Vegetation time, that's what we're doing right now. So like I said, all you need is the screwdriver to figure out 
where you want this first tree to go. Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna put one probably in this front area, just kind of overlooking that mountain. There we go, don't gotta go too deep. And I normally leave the screwdriver in there just to keep track of where that mark is. Take the tree and just put her right on in there. And boom, she's even standing up. Now again, I am gonna come back with just a little bit of glue to make sure this thing stays in place. Rico and Rosie do sometimes get on this area and I don't want them to get knocked down if I can help it, you know, and just a uh, kid everywhere, get that foliage all over the track. That's no good. So uh, I'll glue this in here in a second. And from there, I think we'll go into another time lapse of filling this area in with some trees. All right, everybody. So on the chance you were curious what uh, 14 trees can do for a layout, I mean, in my opinion, it's quite a bit. I mean, just look at that mountain now. That added so much more life. We've got some here on the narrow gauge section. We've got one kind of chilling behind this ridge area here, and we've got another. You know, I also just realized I added the uh, greenhouse. I'm not sure if that's permanent. That's just kind of sitting there right now, but we've got another tree there. Again, the majority are here on the mountain, and I'd say that's at least halfway done now. I want to add quite a few more if I can, probably just a little bit smaller, you know, make it look a little bit more forested instead of just spontaneous. Oh, and we've also added one here at the sunflower area. Again, it's just uh, not a lot, but enough to uh, tie, I think that area together a bit more, makes the layout look just so much more consistent. Yeah, that is what the uh, 14 trees did that quickly. But again, we don't just have that to talk about here. So remember how I said I wanted to detail this mine so you could, you know, see inside of it, the rock faces, all that stuff. It would help if it had a light, wouldn't it? And look at that, ladies and gentlemen, we now have, and it's one of those fancy ones that has a remote too. We've got some LED lights inside of the tunnel. So yeah, it's not the uh, prettiest thing as you can see there. It's one of those uh, outdoor decor ones that's kind of just uh, glued now to the roof. And it can be any number of colors, literally any single one I choose. I prefer the uh, orange or yellow one because they look kind of real and the purple one just because that looks neat. Or instead we could have a little bit of a rave inside of the mine. We could make them do any number of things, fade between a bunch of different colors. Yeah, it's just a fun little addition that uh, brings the layout together a little bit more. And not only do we have that now, we've got plenty of trees, the vegetation's coming together, I think this was a pretty successful, fun little update. That mine is that mine is very distracting, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, with all that being said, I guess there are those uh, small plants there that have been added just, you know, in random spots, like on top of that mountain. There's really not a lot to say in terms of those. Again, we're waiting on ballast and making this canvas barrier and adding a bunch of coal. There's still plenty to do here, but uh, it's all coming together pretty nicely, at least I would say.
Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out.